Okay, this is going to be the first lab that we're going to do this um, semester, this, this year, for physical science. And we talked about describing matter by using properties of matter, right, in um, lesson one. So um, we're going to do an activity. And if you look at this the way I do, um, it says you should read up here because it sometimes gives you answers to some of the questions below. But it says matter is usually described by its properties or characteristics. In this activity, you will observe, describe, and classify the properties of several different materials. Okay? Um, so you're going to be given, let me get down here, you're going to be given, um, each lab station will be given a rubber band, copper wire, a steel paper clip, wooden toothpick, and instead of the graphite lead pencil, you're going to be getting a piece of chalk. Okay? They're basically the same kind of thing. So, Determine and record the properties of the material by observing, touching, manipulating, that means like moving it around, and smelling them. When you smell them, you need to waft. Remember how to waft. Don't taste any of the materials. All right? Um, remember you're looking for properties. Shape is not a property. Okay? Color is not really a property because you can change the color without changing the material. So you want to choose a category and separate the objects according to that category. So you're going to take these things and you're going to separate these five things into two groups based on the prop a property that you determine you want to separate them with. Exchange your separated objects with another group. See if you can determine what characteristics they used to classify the objects. And then they'll try to determine what characteristics you use to classify your objects. But you need to explain your reasoning on why you think they um, use those rules to, um, or those characteristics, and based on what they did, what they put in each group. Okay, so the think it over questions. What characteristic did your group use to classify the objects? You need to tell me how you classified them and which objects were grouped together. List them all, please. Write a description of one of the objects that could be used to clearly identify it by someone who had never seen the object before. So you have to pick one of these objects up here. A rubber band, the copper wire, steel paper clip, wooden toothpick, or the chalk, and describe it to someone who has never seen it before, doesn't know what you're describing, but would be able to identify it based on how you describe it. Okay? <coughs> how do a person's senses help identify the properties of the material? So you need to talk about, um, about feeling it, manipulating it, smelling it. Um, you're not allowed to taste, but that would be one way to um, identify a property, whether it was bitter or sweet or whatever. Um, so think about what senses you would use to help identify the properties of a material.